Hi, Don Campbell here, and I'd like to show you how to create a Google account without using a Gmail uh, ID. So a lot of people think you have to have a Gmail account in order to create a Google account, and uh, it's just not true. So why would I need a Google account? Well, if I wanted to use Google Docs or um, YouTube or a number of these different services, it requires you to have a Google account. And you know, there's a lot of cool things out there that you can use, and also third-party applications are now starting to use Google, this Google account as a means for authentication. So for example, um, Aviary is a really popular online image editing program. And you can actually sign in, instead of creating a whole new user ID and password, you can create an account with their service using your Google ID. So Google's facilitating this secure login without sharing your details with them and without you having to create new user IDs and passwords for all your services. We're also launching an application um, called the, the Reviews Dashboard that accepts a Google account. And so all you need is your Google ID and you can log into our service without having to create all that stuff too. There's also an entire marketplace of apps. Many of them are using this authentication method. So there's more and more reasons that you might want a Google ID. And um, so that's what I want to show you how to do is how do I create that using you know my existing email address instead of having to create a new email address and forward everything and all that. So what you do is here I'm at the Google homepage. If I go to the upper right hand side and say sign in, um, then I'll get access to my services. Now I don't have a Google account yet. I'm not going to create a Gmail account in this case. So what I'll do is go down here and say click on create an account. Now here I just have to enter in a few uh, details and I'm good to go with my account. And I'm going to start by using my um, Yahoo email address. So I'm going to start using um, this email address, which is, is from my Yahoo account. And I'm going to type that in. I'm going to enter in a password, verify my password. And then I'm going to go in and enter in a couple of, I um, can't even read that, a couple of different things. This um, basically all I have to do is enter in my ID and my passwords. Now this these are not my Yahoo email passwords. This is something that I choose that's totally different. So I'm not giving Google any access to my Yahoo mail or my Yahoo account at all. I'm just using my Yahoo ID as a, a, as a user ID for my Google account. Okay, So it's totally secure. Now I'm going to try and guess this. Uh, I, I can't even read that. So I'm just going to get it wrong. I hate these CAPTCHAs, but they're basically trying to make sure you're not some robot spammer trying to create a bunch of accounts. <clears throat> so I am going to um, try this again with my password. Now I'm going to go ahead and accept the terms of service and click create my account. Now what's going to happen is um, it's going to go off and create my Google account <clears throat> and say, okay, confirming that I'm using my Yahoo email address. Now, the only thing I need to do now is go to my Yahoo email and verify that I've got my account. So now I'm going to switch over to my Yahoo email, which I'm logged into over here. And I'm going to take a look. And here you can see my Google account verification email here. So I'll just click on that. And um, let's open that up, <clears throat> take a look at it. And what I'm going to do, they're going to, there's going to be a link in here that I click just to confirm. They want to make sure that their Google ID is tied to a real legitimate email address, obviously. So I'm going to click that, and boom, that's going to take me in and say, hey, you're verified. So now I can create my profile, do all the stuff that I need to do. And that is all there is to it. So from here, now when I wanted to do this login <clears throat> next time, if I were to go back to my Google account, go to my home page, I want to start accessing docs, or I want to log into another service, I've got it all uh, right there. So here you can see, now I'm on the Google page and I'm logged in using my new Google ID. So that's all there is to it. You can easily create one based on an existing email address, it gives you access to you know all these interesting services and, um, and more and more third-party applications as well. And it's totally, uh, it's probably a more secure way of logging into your, into your different applications. So anyway, I thought I would, um, show you how to do that and I hope that was helpful. Thanks.